What is up? It's your main guitar instructor, Miles, and today we're going to be doing a lesson about seventh chords. How to play them, what they are, how to incorporate them. Let's dive right in. Okay, so there is an accompanying lesson, and you can find the link to that below. So we're going to start by talking about what a seventh chord is. And a seventh chord is essentially a major or minor or diminished triad with an additional seventh. Uh, it's a flattened seventh or a major seventh or a double flat seven if you're getting, if you're uh, playing a diminished seventh chord. And there are usually five types of seventh chords that we talk about, and that's major seventh, dominant seventh, minor seventh, minor seven flat five, and the diminished seventh chord. And the first four seventh chords can all be found in a major scale. You can find a major seventh chord, play it, and build it from the first and fourth degrees of a major scale. You can build a minor seventh chord from the second, third, and sixth degrees of a major scale. You can build a dominant seventh chord from the fifth degree of a major scale. And then you can build a minor seven flat five chord from the seventh degree of a major scale. So that's your quick theory behind where these chords exist in the major scale and what they are. Now let's dive into how we can play and learn these chords. All of these chords are going to use the root note C at our eighth fret of our low E. And that's, like I say, that's our root note. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start by understanding the major seventh chord. And it's very important that we understand the structure of intervals here. The structure of intervals that got us to this chord shape. And so what we have is a root, a major seventh, a major third, and a fifth. Okay, so that gives us the notes C, B, E, and G. And that's a C major seventh chord. And we're playing that at eight of low E. And then you're making, it's an A minor shape with your ring, pinky, and middle fingers. Ring on the ninth fret D, pinky on the ninth fret G, and middle finger on that eighth fret B, and then your index finger on that eighth fret low E. And so that's our C major seven shape. Now, if you want to go from a major seventh chord to a dominant seventh chord, you have to flatten the seventh. And so in this case, we have our root, seventh, third, and fifth. So to get to that dominant seventh chord, we have to flatten that seventh. So we move from the ninth fret D to the eighth fret D. And the fingerings for all these chords are shown in the lesson accompanying this. So that's how I play it, or you can swap your middle and ring fingers. But yeah, this is our dominant seventh chord. So that's our root, flattened seventh, and our third, and our fifth. And then, if we want to go to our minor seventh chord, we have to flatten our third. So that brings us from E to E flat. And gives us 8, 8, 8, 8 on E, D, G, and B. And you can play that with four fingers, but to leave more room for other choices of chords, I play with the middle and ring finger. So, we started with major 7th, flattened our 3rd to go to dominant 7th, or sorry, flattened our 7th to go to dominant 7th, and then flattened our 3rd to go to our minor 7th chord. And then from there, we have a minor 7 chord. Now, how do you think we get to a minor 7 flat 5? Well, if you guessed it by the name, you flatten the fifth. So you have minor seven with a flattened fifth. And that means we're going from the eighth fret of our B string, which is a G note, down to our seventh fret of the B string. And that gives us this chord shape. And then lastly, to get our diminished seventh chord, we have to flatten our seventh again. So this is called a double flat seven, but this is technically the sixth 
interval relative to our C root note. And that gives us the diminished seventh chord, where we have our root, our flat third, our flattened fifth, and our double flattened seventh. So, once again to recap, if C major seventh, drop the seventh to get a dominant seventh, drop the third to get a minor seventh chord, drop the fifth to get a minor seven flat five chord, and drop the seventh again to get the double seven, double flat seven to create the diminished seventh chord. And so that gives you, uh, well, that's a brief breakdown of seventh chord harmony. And if you want to instantly add five more chord voicings, then to your chord vocabulary, you can take the E on the low E, you can take the note on the low E string and move it to the high E string. And there you go. You have five more chords, just like that. Anyways, let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. You're super awesome. And also lastly, if you want to uh, remember these seventh chords, make sure that you always practice with the C major seventh chord and start by remembering where the root is. You've got that down, right? So from there, you just have to memorize the fifth, seventh, and third. And then you just have to learn the other four chord formulas, the major seventh formula, dominant seventh, minor seventh, minor seven flat five, and diminished seventh formula, and just move the intervals from there. And then after that, you can just start learning other chord inversions. So anyways, once again, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.